Hey, how you guys doing? This is Mike, and you're watching the Michigan Woodsman. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, so I just wanted to do a quick video on my snowmobile, uh, my ice fishing setup for my snowmobile. Um, I built this thing for myself last year, um, and I got a year out of it so far, and I really like it. And I thought I'd share it with you guys. Uh, when I looked into building this thing, I searched YouTube, and uh, usually everything's on YouTube. Well, I didn't find much content uh, on this particular thing, and I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty handy. Uh, a lot of people seem to like it, so I figured uh, I'd bring you guys along and show you what I made. Stick around. guys this is it all right so all the way until last year I was always roughing it when I was ice fishing it sure takes the enjoyment out of it when you know if you're not on any fish and you got to move and everything you have has to be drug and then hand augered and all that it's a lot of work and I mean once in a while not bad but for the type of fishing that we like to do where we like to go you need to be mobile and uh, so last year I decided to get mobile and uh, this is what I came up with so this sled right here this this rack I guess you could call it is just built out of um, ACX plywood and uh, it was primed and then uh, painted with this uh, it's called Cabot Deck Restore it's this heavy duty paint that's got like grippy uh, grippy stuff in it so nice rough texture heavy duty texture I used it in my job trailer on the floor it worked really well so I used uh, dark black and painted it up but I pretty much just started with a flat piece of plywood and I'll put I'll insert some photos into this to show you guys how it come about but this was just all started out with a flat piece of plywood clamped to the back of the sled sat my jet sled on it and kind of just started making changes and building it out so I'll throw the stuff in it so you can see how it see how it works but basically yeah I can tow my jet sled if I want to across the lake or however but sometimes I live close enough to town where you know I don't necessarily want to be dragging stuff down the road or necessarily go through all the trouble of loading up a truck and trailer I can just hop on this thing throw the jet sled in the back strap it down and, and just scoop just drive right through town right wherever I need to go and I'm good uh, I pop these reflectors on here. I have these cutouts so you can attach it. But basically, jet sled sits right, right in this spot. Those are just U-bolts, and it's just basically just clamped or U-bolted to the existing factory rack, and it comes on and off pretty easy. Uh, sometimes when we haul it, I take it off, uh, but it's really easy to deal with. Uh, you can see, obviously, see up there on each side of the seat uh, is where the buckets go. And then right here, this little rack holds my um, auger. Sits right in there like that. And uh, and then up here on the dash is where I put my GPS fish finder. Right on the dash of that, so I can, you know, zip out onto the lake. I've got all the lake maps on there in the GPS, so I can see where I'm at, see the depths. I can hop, stop, sled, hop off. Grab the auger, drop it on the ice, squeeze the trigger. It's a, it's a battery powered one, so it's quick, quiet. Pop a hole, drop the transducer down in there right next to the sled. I can sit there and check things out, jig for a minute, and if it's hot, then I can set up. If it's not, pull it out, toss it on there, zip off to the next spot. And uh, boy, it sure makes things a lot, a lot more convenient. When you don't get a lot of time to get out there, you want to make the most of it. And in order to make the most of ice fishing, either you got to know a lake and know exactly where you're at, and been successful there a bunch of times, or you use all the tricks you can use and scoot around as much as you can until you find a good one. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down for a second and uh, set it up, and then I'll go ahead and load this thing up so you guys can see what it looks like when it's, uh, when it's loaded up.
Well, as you can see, guys, works out really nice. This is what it looks like loaded up. Buckets pop right in there, and that just worked out pretty well. And honest with you, the buckets were an afterthought. After I sat it on there, I realized, wow, I think I could do something here. So those were an afterthought, but they work. They work really well. I'll show you some. I'll show you some pictures later on in the video here of. Uh, kind of how this went together but literally I started with a piece of plywood clamped on the back of this thing it sat my sled on it kind of sat gear in place of how I figured it could ride and uh, just kind of went from there but as you see the jet sled fits in there um, and it can be towed behind if I wanted but I you know this is a light enough setup to where a lot of times for convenience I just throw it right in there also Another convenient thing is, that's about perfect height for bringing out the old grill, doing a little grilling. We've done, uh, we've done a lot of that. Well, I can't say a lot. I guess we did last year, but and you can see how this, you can see how the, how the auger just sits on the plywood there, just like that. And, all right, I had to do a quick battery swap, guys. Uh, but as I was saying, this, uh, this auger fits right in here in these plywood. Uh, little little gussets or racks and uh, basically once I get all my stuff on here I just bungee it down it'll hook it'll hook right over right over this edge and onto that and come over and I'll hook it pretty much anywhere in here I got a lot of different attachment options I have two of them reflectors on there just to be safe because it does stick out a couple inches wider than the skis on each side and I'm not gonna lie to you guys the heavier you go, the more awkward it rides. So, I mean, you're not going to be whipping around trails like a maniac or by any means, but for what it's intended for, it works great. Um, we actually pulled we actually pulled that sled. It took two guys to load up the big shanty. Uh, it took two of us to load that thing up. Uh, it was real heavy, and we hooked that onto the back of this sled, plus we had all this stuff on there. That sled, jet sled that's in there right now is empty. It's just showing, it's just there for just for the video there's nothing in it right now but we had that thing loaded up and then my, I'm about 240 and my younger brother's about 215 and we were both on the sled with that whole setup there and then pulling that tow behind out uh, well out in the bay out in the big bay down by uh, east of Linwood right out in Saginaw Bay um, we went, we went 13 miles out last year, and I'll show you some pictures uh, in one of these videos, either this one or one of the upcoming ones um, of that trip, but it, it hauled us no problem. I mean, we were riding wheelies because it was rear heavy <laughs> some of the time, but anyway, just wanted to do a quick video and show you guys this. You know, if anybody's out there, this is just, this is just homemade in the garage. This wasn't, this was not expensive. I mean, you can make it expensive, I guess, if you wanted, but you can make it real cheap if you wanted to as well. Um, you, you know, this type of thing, it works perfect for this sled, but it'd probably work perfect on a lot of sleds. I mean, you might have to redrill and move the U-bolts, but I bet that would bolt up to a lot of different sleds. And, uh, and I mean, maybe with some slight modification, but, I mean, a guy can make one of these pretty cheap and easy. Just customize it to what you need. I mean, maybe some guys wouldn't need, you know, all this set up. You know, maybe some guys might incorporate some some metal and put a rack on the front of the sled and strap your auger and that to there that's that's cool but I just want to do a video guys and just just show you what show you what I did what works for me and because uh, like I say there's not much content on on this type of thing um, I know I searched for it when I was trying to think of something to build for my sled um, but anyway thanks for watching the video guys and uh, uh, hit the like, hit subscribe, uh, ring the bell so you get notifications next time I put a video up. And uh, until the next one, you guys uh, stay safe, have a good time, get out, enjoy God's creation. See you soon. Mm -hmm.